I start this lawn, that would be the same as I start most of my lawns if I've got the time. I might just go around with the blower, or around in a circle, and blow all the junk in, all the leaves, any bits and pieces. Um, just blow it off, just tidies up the edges a little bit. Um, the, the leaf blower is one of the tools I take with me every single day of the year. It's, um, it's just essential, you know, if I didn't have the leaf blower, I wouldn't worry about going around and breaking it all in. It would just, just be pointless, so um, it really is worth getting one. You don't need to buy that expensive one like this, you know, mine's a steel one. But there's plenty out there if you're just a homeowner. There are plenty out there you can get that would do the job. Um, but no, they're definitely, um, definitely worth a buy. So I'll go around with the trimmer. Um, this whole driveway is shingle stone, so when you do go around with the trimmer like this, you've always got to keep your eye open for um, any rocks. You do not want to be breaking any windows. I've done it before and it's not funny. Um, so you really want to just keep your eyes open and just just take the take the edges off really. It um, just helps you when you go around with the mower and just finishes the job off nice. This lawn obviously hasn't got any corners, but if you had a lawn with a few corners in, you can't get in there with the mower. So with the trimmer's perfect, just push it in and uh, get it all nice and uniform. It looks good. This is my other mower. This is a 19 inch uh, Honda with a roller on the back. And I'll, uh, I'll just show you. It's, a, it's HRX. So I'll just show you underneath. So, the same again when you tip it on the side, make sure the uh, this is the air filter here. When you tip it on the side, make sure this is pointing up to the sky so you don't fill up uh, it with oil. And this is underneath. Um, the way I get all these nice stripes is this uh, big old beast at the back. Um, I have lots of people ask me how you get the stripes in the lawn, and um, yeah, you won't get real decent stripes um, unless you have a, a roller like this on the back. I had a someone asked me about um, he had a normal mower and he was cutting his lawn, and he said, if I've cut it 20 times up and down, up and down, I can't get the stripes like you. And I said to him, Well, you, you uh, have you got a a roll on the back? It's like no. So obviously you won't get the stripes without the uh, without the roller on the back. So yeah, it's um, it's it's definitely needed to uh, to get the stripes that, um, that I'm showing. You. See even before I start cutting the grass that the, uh, the stripes I'm doing are already, already there. I'm basically just going over the thing that I've done last time and then um, I've cut this lawn probably about 500 times so my stripes are um, they're always going to be there and I can leave this lawn for two or three years and cut back to it and my stripes will still be as, um, as uniform as they are now. So I always just stick to my same line and just keep going up and down. Um, so yeah, just watch. Um, there's not really much to it, you just get your head down, up and down, up and down, and into the box a few times. And this is all being picked up grass, so um, yeah, so the main job is really is when they come home from work, they drive them and put in the driveway, and um, you know, the grass looks nice and uh, nice and tidy. And um, in about five minutes' time, you'll see the uh, I lose the camera, unfortunately, I've got the camera resting on a bit of a bag, um, sort of standard pop up bag. And then, um, yeah, it takes a bit of a dive, so I might have to get myself a stand. But yeah, let me know what you think of these sort of videos, guys. So I'll um, try and get a better angle next time, it's not very close, but um, yeah, I'm getting there with it. Take care, guys, see you soon.